Hello and welcome back. Let us now wrap up our error handling here and we're going to do it with our remove user here. So what we want to do and by the way, and the last one is you. So every time we basically do anything, our widgets are cleared. This is because the first thing we do in all our operations is clear widget here. All right. So we are going to fix this in a second. Actually, let's just fix this right now. So what we're going to do is simply copy it. Cut actually instead of copy. So just cut all of this. And we want to clear our widgets only if everything is working. So the best way to do that is down here. So we'll be clearing down here. All right. And let's do this for basically everything. And this is right here. So we'll cut this out, right, and paste it down here again. And tap this in. And you basically want to do this for everything that has that clear, all right? And it's right here. So I'll cut this out and I'll paste it down here. Make sure I indent correctly. And finally for add user. Right there. Alright, so down here. Paste this in. And of course, tap this in. And now our widgets won't be cleared. So now I'm just going to copy this. All right, now let's go to our remove function. And it's right, where is it? Right here. All right, so before we remove a user, we obviously want to check if the username is a valid one. So if user is equal to nothing first. And there we have it. Oh, it's required. Otherwise, if it wasn't nothing, then we want to check if it if it's a valid user so we'll say target underscore user is equal to and this is going to be self dot users dot find one and what we're looking for is a username which goes by user all right and now again if the target so if our target user here is equal to nothing is equal to none what we want to do is error message again and tap this in and this time it's going to be invalid username so this will be invalid user name all right control us to save this and i believe we are done yep we are done so now again make sure this time we don't clear our widgets unnecessarily so we'll simply cut this out and let's go down to right here okay to our else close so else which means everything is great we are simply going to paste this in tap this in and tap this in as well all right control us to save and i believe we are done with error handling remove product all right so for remove product as well what i'm going to do here is i'll basically copy everything right here all right so let's copy all of this copy this go down here to our remove products and before we remove paste this in and we want to change this to code all right and we want to change this to target code is equal to self dot products to find one and we want to find a product code which matches our code all right and until 
what else right here we want to change this to code again and self to notify and we have an invalid code this time so here this is going to be invalid code and yep everything is working right now now for the else statement all right if the code is correct then we obviously want to clear our widgets first so let's cut this out and paste it down here tap this in make sure it's tapped correctly and also tap this in all right control us to save and we are done we have a problem here hmm where is it right here so kill switch one and control us to save and we are done now so now we can run this and now let's first check that so add and now it doesn't get cleared right so now remove and remove and we have a problem and it says content reference before so this is where this is on our remove function so let's see content is equal to that right here it's okay all right this is pretty strange so i'll pause this one and check it all right so i found that the problem is right here all right so we get this error and we clear our widgets but now content is gone all right so what we need to do is we only want to refresh again if everything works great so we just tap this in and also tap this in right here all right control s and of course you want to do this for all of the other functions all right so for me i had already done this before okay so now if we run this it should work like a fucking charm all right remove and remove and remove and there we go so everything is working great now and let's give it a fake username so zero two and remove and we get invalid username so everything is working great now but as you can see this is what i was talking about before when we went handling any errors as you can see some some users here are being inserted and there's nothing on them okay we don't even have a username for these so now we have no way of removing these all right so this is why we do error handling in programs so let me say test 01 and remove this one and now it's removed but now i have no way of removing these so i'll have to go and remove them manually all right anyway that is it for this one guys any questions comments leave them in the comments section and definitely check out the udemy course the link is in the description otherwise like and share this video if you did and i'll see you in the next one